Shangya's cruelty and your benevolence, everyone can clearly see. He may have the more powerful army, but he has already lost to you, my lord. My lord, a large group of refugees from Shenyang are here. They want to see you. We've sent our men to stop them. They want you to talk to Shangye on their behalf, my lord. Will you see them? I won't. My lord, what do you want me to say to them? Shall I comfort them? Shall I tell them that I'll go talk to Shangye? Wouldn't that be lying to them? <sighs> Shangye is too impatient and too damn aggressive. He wants all the victory and glory of this world to be his and his alone. All right. If that's what he wants, I'll gladly give it to him. If only I had known he would do this, I wouldn't have given him Shen Yang! It is too late for regrets. And you needn't be too concerned for the commoners. Jin destroyed the Six Kingdoms, after all. They are not that innocent. But they are innocent! They were mere citizens! Human lives! to enter Shenyang, and even sealed the palace treasury and storehouses. He didn't kill anyone nor steal anything. I wonder, if this fellow was as strong as Shenyang, what would he have done? Listen to me. I'm not lying to you. We haven't used that granary in such a long time. There's almost nothing left in it. How would you know if you didn't even check? Besides, there are so many starving children in the city. We have to think of a way to feed them. You're acting without his permission. General Shang Ye will hold me responsible. Besides, I'm a soldier. These people are from Qin. Do you even know what that means? They're General Shang Ye's enemies. Then just put the blame on me. Seriously, you're just too... Do you know how stubborn you are? Take a good look. There's nothing here at all. There really is nothing. Oh. With the world in chaos, many have died of hunger. Let's go. do that. If you bring her back to camp, what do we tell King Shan? What did I tell you earlier? This person is from Chen. Since we found her, we can't just let her die. After all, she is a commoner. I said no. You must listen to me. Guards! 
My lady? Just listen to me. I'll explain everything to Shang Yu. Bring her along. Understood. Thank you for saving me, my lady. Stand, please. <laughs> I never expected you'd be so beautiful. Surely you joke, my lady. Your beauty is exquisite. I wonder which general is fortunate enough to have you. <laughs> when the Chin see us, they are either terrified or they hate us. But you're different. I'm actually from Zhao. Oh. Where's your hometown? I'm not sure where my hometown is. But I heard an old servant say that we were a wealthy family in Zhao. Because of the war, our family was forced to move to Shenyang. A year later, I was born. Uh, no wonder. That is why your accent is purely Shenyang. Then, do you hate the Chin? No, I don't. Why not? I know you Chu people hate the Chin because they made your people suffer badly. But I'm different. I was born and raised here. Shenyang is my home. I hope you don't mind me saying that, my lady. <laughs> That's how things should be. It's good to have a home. <laughs> it is fate that brought us together. From now on, treat this place as your own home. Thank you, my lady. Sworn father, what are you saying? What do you mean almost out of control? The fire you started had turned Shen Yang into a steaming pot of gruel. Are you chastising me? I only meant to give advice. Fine, tell me what to do then. The sooner you grant faiths, the better. <laughs> and if they don't agree, and it's sense of internal strife, how should we deal with it? Should I just bury them all together? No, no, no. If you want to avoid any internal strife, then you must have a military advantage over them. Don't you understand what I'm saying? Who among these subordinates would support me? <laughs> Chen Yu, Zheng Er, or that big buffoon Wei Bao? You've forgotten Ying Bu. <laughs> What about him? Ever since we got here, he hasn't left the General's Manor. He's disappeared like dew on a sunny day. Why is that? He's observing from the sidelines. If you grant fiefs to your subordinates, without King Bu's support, you'll be in trouble. Before, King Bu was of no consequence to you. Now the situation has changed, and Ying Bu is like a wedge that stops a cart. With his support, things will become easier for you. It's not easy for me either. He contributed so much. Even making Yimbu king wouldn't be enough. What can I give him? Well, you could give him a wife. Huh. And who should I give him, huh? Yuji and I have no daughters. Even if we did, we wouldn't marry her to him.
high swordsmanship, but it lacks strength. Oh. Greetings, General. <laughs> She's my sworn sister that I've told you about. Her name is Ruo Jiang. Stand up. Yuji told me about your story. You must have suffered a lot. I thank Yuji for finding me. May I ask, are you married? I am not. So, how is he good? He's a great warrior. The bravest in the army. He can protect you. You mean just how General Shang Ye protects you? Does Shang Ye protect me? <laughs> a sharp sword doesn't necessarily mean protection. A man can use a sword to protect his woman's dignity. A woman can protect a man's heart with understanding. If I'm reincarnated, I would like us to be sisters who take care of each other. Forever. <laughs> Why do you say that? Even though you'll be marrying Yingbu and live with him, know that we're still sisters. Yes. We're sisters. General Shan Yu, Mr. Fan. General Yingbu. How are you doing? <laughs> Have you fully recovered? Uh, well, yes, sir. It's just some old injuries. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, General Yingbu, look. Are you pleased? <laughs> Extremely pleased. Oh, I'll never forget your kindness, General Shang. Stand. Come. You're like a brother to me, and you two are a good match. No need to thank me. General Ying, ten days after your marriage, we'll need to talk about military matters and the governance of Shenyang. Yes, yeah, say no more. I will obey you. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. What to do? Take your wife home. Why are you still standing there? destroyed on behalf of my late uncle I Shang Ye propose a toast to you wait that year in Shenyang even though he didn't send troops to me neither did you expose my family to the court of Qin and so I shall 
drink this cup. As I said before, the Shang family would overthrow Chen and rule this land. It's truly our honor to witness the divine might of Shang Ye. Ah, what divine might? Huh? This is obviously a deity who descended to the world. General Shang yes, is our god. Yes, even emperors such as Yao Shen and Tang cannot compare to General Shang in terms of knowledge and skill. Don't you agree? How can you even compare them? They don't compare at all. I agree. Oh, I agree. A toast to General uh, Shang. Yes, a, a toast, toast to the General. General. Yes. Yes. A yes. right stop. I can distinguish gratitude from resentment. A toast was made to those who deserve it. General, today is a day of celebration. Right now, you are the most respected in all the land. We should let bygones be bygones. Well said. Let bygones be bygones. Send them off! What's this? What People like them deserve to be killed. General Zhang Er, don't you agree? Yes, they should have been killed. They should have been killed. General, you are right. Ying Bu, sit. Drag them out. Yes, sir! Those who remain are heroes. Drink! Don't be shy, drink! Fiefs. If you get a big piece of land, that means he's in a good mood. If you get a small one, you'll just have to accept it without complaint. Hmm. Yingbo is a valiant warrior. But he also looks for gain and looks out for himself. I wonder how Shang Yu managed to subdue him. Huh? You saw what happened at that banquet, didn't you? Shang Ye and Yingbu are cut from the same cloth. He commands a huge force. If we don't obey him, if we disagree, we'll end up as corpses. You have a point. This is a dangerous game. We're bound to lose. Hmm. Do you gamble? I am not like you. <laughs> when you gamble, you either lose small, Big. Losing small sometimes means a win, do you understand? I know what you're trying to say. When Zhang Yu grants fiefs, I will stand with you. Shouldn't you, Zhang Er? <laughs> Look, I'm just doing this for your own good. Help me off the horse. Do I look like your servant? 
I gave you good advice. Shouldn't you help me off the horse? Huh? Fine. Here we go. <laughs> Darling, were they planning to kill all of us today? It seemed like it. I'll say the same thing. Do you want to live or die? Uh, isn't the answer obvious? You didn't answer me. Of course I want to live. All right. The moment they grant you your fief, do not say anything. Just go on and take whatever they give you. Don't argue with them. If they ask, then just answer. Wei Bao is at your command, King Shang. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I understand. <laughs> Who are you? I am Han Shang. Why have you come? King Shang. The Qian Emperor is dead. The world needs to be rebuilt. Shenyang's lands are fertile land, and its location, strategic. You can dominate the land from here. I don't want Shenyang. Chu is my homeland. If so, what about the world? Will you go back to Chu, King Shang? It's none of your business where I go. <sighs> I would like to give you a piece of advice. You must not go back to Chu. During the time of the Warring States, do you know why Qin was so powerful? The main reason is Shenyang's location made it hard to penetrate. Even when the feudal kings united to fight against Qin, they were still unable to conquer Shenyang. On the other hand, Qin can easily dispatch their armies to any place. They could afford to have huge armies, because Shenyang's fertile land yielded enough food for them. That is why they had enough men. Shenyang was the reason the first emperor could conquer all the other six kingdoms. Therefore, you should stay as the first emperor did and dominate the entire land from Shenyang. I don't like it here. I hate Shenyang. I see. So then, where will you go, my king? Pongcheng. I want to be king of Western Chu. Can't the king of Shenyang also be the leader of all feudal kings? Would you let go of the gem that's already in your hand? And besides Chu, there's only one part of the world, my king. How can you be so long-winded? Fine, I'll give you an example. Let's say I conquer the world and all the world's treasures are mine. If I don't return to my homeland, I would just be... parading in fancy clothing at night. Do you understand? <laughs> I never expected... The well-respected Shang Yi to be so ridiculously childish. <laughs> what did you say? I was planning to be of service to the new king, but it seems like we would have been better off with the previous monarch. They say that the people of Chu are monkeys. And how appropriate. Just monkeys wearing human hats! consequences of insulting us? I do. And I never plan on getting away with it. But you don't know how you'll die. Guards! <laughs> General! <laughs> drag him out. Boil him! Understood! <laughs> Just do as you wish. Let's go! <laughs> Pathetic! <laughs> <laughs> Over here in the Northwest, along this border. How do you think I should divide these lands? Well, me? Any ideas? That's right. I think it's a good place. It's quite a sizable piece of land. It's a good place to stay in. What'll we do with King Huai? Do you have any ideas? Is he really descended from the old kings of Chu? You were the one 
who told us to find a shepherd in the mountains and appoint him the King of Chu. But maybe it was just part of your strategy, a plan to crown a commoner as king. Sworn father, you're my strategist. You're a sage. It's hard for me to tell if you would do something like that. Well, he has supporters, so he became king. Before Jin was overthrown, it was necessary to appoint a descendant of the old Chu kings to unite those who were loyal to Chu. But now that Chin is gone, do we still need this figurehead around? At any rate, this isn't the right time to get rid of him. Fine, I understand. But I won't show him any respect either. Maybe we should appoint him Emperor Yi. Emperor Yi? The character Yi may also mean false, so naming him Emperor Yi... Well, if you say he is, he is. If he's not, then he's not. Good. Emperor Yi it is. Is this your only concern lately? What about him? How will you deal with Liu Pang? Liu Bang. Liu Bang. I haven't even thought that problem over. What do you suggest? Why don't we do this? No, I'm all right. I think the lands of Ba Shu and Chang should be given to him. Grant him those. Make him the king of that place. What kind of place is that? It's a desolate, mountainous area located in the southwest. What road will they take to get there from Shenya? There are no roads. No roads? Think about the word Ba. The very character alone looks like that there is an earthworm inside. People from the Central Plains use this word to name places like that. And the word Shu also has the character of worm in it. Wouldn't it be an appropriate place to put people who are like worms? A place to put people who are like worms? That's actually a great idea. I heard Han Chong's also a, a desolate, remote place. Oh, you see, there is not much difference with Ba and Shu. Also, the way there will be full of obstacles and difficulties. Liu Pang will bring all of his men there. I'm sure most of them will desert him even before getting there. Oh, dear. Halfway there. A large portion of his army would leave him. They'd leave you alone. Oh, thinking about it makes me feel very, very sorry for him. Those are the places where Chen used to banish criminals. Even the most ferocious criminals would be trembling with fear the moment they heard they'd be exiled to those places. Does this mean once he goes there, he won't return? He'll die. Sending him to a place like that is like caging him up. It's no different to an execution, don't you agree? <laughs> I have one concern. We have to think about Shen Yang. What should we do with it now? It's very valuable land. I hate this place. It was Jin's nest. Tell me what we should do. All right, I have an idea. Let's divide it into three. And grant one to Zhang Han, then one to Sima Shen, and then Dong Yi. We'll appoint them as kings. Zhang Han will be given the name King Yong. Dong Yi will be King Jai. It's better to have Chen ruling Chen. Good. Let's do that. King Wai will be Emperor Yi. I can't believe Shang Yi thought of that. He looks down on King Wai. King Wai is merely his puppet. And what he's really worried about is his pledge to King Wai. It's hanging over his head. He's afraid it may crash down any time. He granted 18 fiefdoms and styled each one of them as king. Zhang Han is King Yong. Zima Shen is King Sai. Dong Yi, King Jai. King Zhao Zhang, or Yi Bu. And Zhang Er is King Cheng Shan. But himself, he doesn't want to be emperor. He didn't even consider becoming a common king. 
After much thought, he proclaimed himself as Hedgemont King of Western Chu. He's neither king nor emperor. Hey. Sounds like the leader of an alliance. He won the war, but refuses personal gain. It won't be easy for him to stabilize his position of power. Hasn't our lord been rewarded yet? Zhang Ye and Mr. Fan must be plotting something. My lords! My lords! Big trouble! What's wrong? They're all arguing! Please take a look! But damn, Shang Ye! This is an no, outrage! Not. No, it's a bad it's idea! We're not going! This is outrageous! Exactly! That's my goal! Go. How will we survive? We can't go! The birds really. don't lay eggs in that place! My this lord, is so sorry! Hey! Liu Bang, say something! Say something! At such a crucial moment, you must speak up, my lord! Please say something! We can't go there. Please say something! Nothing! Let's go to Shang Yu! Let's, Let's go. go! Come on! We'll solve this ruckus! Only our lord can make this decision. No use arguing. Lord Chao, none of our men are willing to go there. What should we do now? <laughs> Everyone. I heard you say that. Even birds don't lay eggs there. Huh? <laughs> That's nonsense. A baseless rumor. Before we left Shenyang, I brought the maps and archives back to our camp and studied them carefully. War has ravaged these lands in the past years. People have been uprooted, and the land has been neglected. But the area of Bashu has not been affected. The war hasn't... Reach that part. What I mean is, it is still in the best condition. Bashu has fertile soil, excellent irrigation, and natural defensive barriers. It's the perfect place for us to rest and strengthen our military power. Bashu is a heaven sent opportunity. Are you saying Shang Yu has handed us a great deal? Yes. Generals. Shang Ye probably thinks it's a desolate, barren land. In reality, he has given us a land rich in resources. My lord, I suggest that we not only accept this fiefdom, but also take the chance to take over Han Chong. Will Shang Ye give you Han Chong? My lord, I have my ways, you'll see. <laughs> you as a friend and a brother. There is no need for such gifts. <laughs> From the Duke of Pei, it's a token of appreciation for you. I see that the Duke of Pei is a man who repays kindness. Yes. At the banquet in Hong Gate, you saved his life. The Lord of Pei will forever be grateful for that. <laughs> About the fiefdom. I'm afraid my nephew may have gone too far this time. I didn't expect that he'd send the Duke of Pei to Basha. <laughs> he has already announced this to his subordinates, and now the whole world knows about his fate. Even if I try to talk to Shang Ye, I'm afraid there's no way to change his mind. <sighs> Shangbo, I have an idea. It'll save Shang Ye's reputation and placate the Duke of Pei at the same time. And most importantly, it won't violate the pledge made to King Huai. Chang Liang, is this true? Hurry, tell me. I need your help in suggesting that King Shang grants the Duke of Pei another fief. Which fifth is it? Han Chong. Han Chong? Shangbo. Han Chong is still part of Guanzong. Both sides can compromise. Now then, what do you think about my suggestion? Ah. 
Zhang Liao, don't worry. I will try my best to persuade my nephew. Thank you very much. What do you think of my decision? I agree that we make him king of Han Zhong. I told you before, Han Zhong is like Ba Shu. The geography of these places is quite dangerous. No one can describe it. A grain of rice wouldn't save a starving man. As for Liu Pang, he keeps quiet because he has no choice. As for you, you appointed him king, gave him land. Your decision will not make enemies, and the world will not condemn you. Hmm. All right. Well then, I'll attend to my affairs, my king. Hmm. I'm worried about something else. Are you worried that I'm reducing our strength? Our soldiers have fought with me for years. It's time for them to return home. If you do this, we will have no military advantage. Like you always say, sometimes I need to put on a show to avoid being condemned by others. Now that Chen is conquered, my subordinates are planning to show their loyalty to me by reducing their forces. Shouldn't I set an example? I don't believe they'll reduce their forces. They surely have hidden motives. <sighs> Sworn father, you've increased in age, but what about your courage? Don't worry. No one will defeat me. All right? Believe me. Well, for your sake, I hope you're right. What a cantankerous old man. <laughs> Interesting. I'm Liu Matong from the cavalry. Greetings, Your Majesty. Rise, soldier. Please rise. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're the one from Jilu. You defeated hundreds of Jin soldiers there? Yes, you're right. I see. Zhong Limei has told me about it. Please allow me to stay, my king. You have given so much. You deserve to return home. It's what everyone is wishing for. Your Majesty, stop. Don't worry. I'll reward you even more. But I don't need that. Please, allow me to stay. Why is that? There isn't anyone left at home. Besides, other than fighting, I don't know anything else. Lumatong. is over. Go home. Prime Minister. Greetings, my lord. Who is this? He's a cavalry officer from General Shangye's camp. He wants to join us. Yes. Rise. I heard the King of Han is going to Bashu. I'd like to come along and serve the Han camp. King Sheng is reducing his forces. He's been giving generous pensions. Are you unhappy with yours then? No. You misunderstand me. Other than fighting, I don't know how to do anything else. I can only survive in an army. Please accept me, my lord. Lumatong. Sheng Yu is now the hegemon king of Western Chu. The King of Han will be moving to a barren, desolate land. There are great dangers on the way there, and we can't afford to be as generous as King Shang. I'm afraid we might not even have enough food on the journey there. I hope you won't come to regret this move. My lord, since I have decided to serve the King of Han, I leave it to the gods to decide my fate. Lumatong, 
You think that King Sheng is... Uh, please don't misunderstand. He's an exceptional leader. But he can be haughty. It's hard to get along with him. Outside of, uh, uh, of the battlefield. Good. Even though you are joining us, you still feel gratitude to your old master. I will accept you into the King of Han's camp. You are a cavalry officer. In our camp, you'll be a cavalry general under Guan Ying, understand? Thank you, Lord Shao. Yeah. 